welcome back. So today I have a Walmart video. You guys usually seem to like Walmart videos. It's pretty universal across the country. You can either pop into one or order online. Last time they sponsored me. This time was not the case. So I have a big pile of clothes. Most of them are winners. The only things that are not winners came down to the fit, but style wise, all great. Um, I do have the prices and stuff. Um, I got pretty good deals because I was looking at certain things and I was like, wait, this is $15 today. So I scored pretty well and I'll pull up the prices maybe at the end. Um, and that should reflect the prices today. And hopefully I get this up today. So maybe you can get the same prices. So this time around, I tried to hit a few brands because obviously I'm going to veer more towards Eloquii Elements sold at Walmart. So I wanted to get a few things, but I did pop my head into Eloquii. Honestly, they haven't really updated it seasonally. I got this at Walmart through Eloquii last summer and it's still there. The denim dress that I love, still there. I mean, it's a good basic, but like, I feel like they haven't updated the Eloquii elements a ton, um, but usually when they do, it's good. All that to say, I got a beautiful black blazer. This one is a long line and I feel like famously Eloquii had that tan Blade, long line blazer a couple years ago when everyone went nuts for it. I did and I have it and I love it. Um, so I know Eloquii has really well made blazers and I was looking through my closet and I'm like, how do I not have like a nice black one? I have like black, like maybe shorter ones from a couple years ago and I'm talking like eight years ago. So I felt like it was time to update, be a full adult and get a nice classic black blazer that was kind of hard to say. Double breasted, has the buttons on either side and then the interior button so it holds you in. This is so nice, it does have shoulder pads but it's not like 80s designing women shoulder pads. It really created a nice silhouette. I can't wait to tell you how much I paid for this. So I thought I was gonna wait till the end to tell you the prices but let's just pull them up right now. This retails for $30 which is already a steal because most Eloquy blazers sell for like, I wanna say 120. I paid. $14.64 for this blazer. So super jazzed about that. As we know, I love a deal. And it's not like the quality went down from Eloquii to Eloquii at Walmart. It's still lined, it's pressed, it has the amazing structure. So I feel like there was no dip in quality, even though the price is like a quarter of what you would be paying at Eloquii. So I got this in a size 16. I think it's the perfect fit for me. Long enough to cover your butt without being like funny oversized. It buttons really nicely. You can also just wear it open. I do feel like my closet was missing something like this and now to have this for like under $15, huge win. Cause I was kind of on the fence about this one but I'm like for 15 bucks and this feels amazing and looks amazing, huge win. So I did get two dresses in the same pattern. They are completely different dresses though. So this one I'm kind of bummed it didn't work out for me because one, I love the pattern. Very much a vacation dress. Like, like I wouldn't wear this to work, but like you could if you wanted to. I am kind of Kimmy Gibbler, but like um, the star of the show is the cutouts and then the O-ring on the stomach. This is so cute. I do have to mention this and this came in many different colorways. Definitely have a basic black, but like I went for the kooky, crazy, fun Barbie pattern. My head goes to like cruise wear. So I went for the fun, loud dress. Um, this one is a woven fabric. So there was no given here. Um, I put it on and I was like, okay, I can't zip this. But then I put it on backwards to kind of see like it, if it would zip, if I can get it on backwards, I know we're good to go. And when it comes time to like actually wear this, I have someone to help me. This would not get past the boobs. This is in a size um, XL 1618 from the brand Scoop. I have a few Scoop items that I got um, last time I did a Walmart haul. But um, this one really bummed me out because I was able to get it zipped kind of like right where your chest starts. And from like here down, it looked so good because it is a little bit more form fitting, but that made this look even better like on body. So there was definitely nothing to be self-conscious about. I do have like a large tummy, but like because the pattern's so busy and this is the focal point, no one's looking at your stomach. Um, so I do wish this worked out. I might try this again in the next size up, which would be um, an 1820 um, or, or 2022, I don't know. Um, I would like to try this in the next size up because I do think it's very cute. Very poofy arms, which I'm not like the biggest fan of, but they didn't look silly. Um, so I would like to try this in a size that actually zips just to get the full effect, but like there was an attempt and I wish it worked because 
the rest of it was so cute. Just would not zip over these things. So an attempt was made, but I do love an O-ring. Okay, we're back. I had to change the battery. So that dress retails for $34. So again, from Scoop, same pattern, different style dress. So this dress is pleated everywhere, but there's a busy pattern, so you can't really tell, but pleated throughout. So there is tons of stretch, ton of give. Um, maxi length, I would say um, the other one was more of a midi length, like a tea dress, but it was so cute. Um, so this one is one of those dresses that you're just gonna like spin around and do this in. This does come in black, and I kind of wish I got the black in this, because I do actually feel like the pattern is actually too busy for a maxi long sleeve dress. Like it's gonna be everywhere, whereas I feel like on the other one, having skin showing and it being busy balanced a little bit more, and especially with the cutouts around the stomach. So if I was gonna get this dress again, I would get it in black. I do think the pattern looks better on the other one, but you know I love a loud pink dress, so I went for this one. Um, ties in the middle to give you a little bit of a waist. I don't love the neckline on this, and it's kind of funny because I'm wearing that exact neckline. So a very easy, small V-cut, like there is no cleavage here. Um, to me, it just kind of looked a little like we're in a cult and we're baptizing you in a river kind of neckline. <laughs> um, but I'm wearing it right now and this is perfect for work. So if this was the solid black, great work option. Um, but for a fun dress to not be showing your boobs, I just don't think it, you know, made sense. Um, but for a basic black, yes, that smaller V makes a lot of sense. Is my head making sense? No, this one is also in an XL, which equates to a 1618. This fit me very well, but like I said, it's a different fabric. This is a jersey fabric, so lots of stretch. The pleating also helps with the stretch. Um, so if I were to get this again, I would get it in black, but I do think it looks really good. It feels really good. I just don't think the pattern worked with the silhouette. Um, but I do think the pattern works on different silhouettes. So it really just comes down to personal preference, but I do think this is a great fit all around. And that one goes for $36. Okay, this next one is also from Scoop. I also got in a size XL, which is a 1618. So this is a button-up shirt dress with something fun. So if you can see, it's all black, and I'm happy I went with all black for this one. There's a tie in the middle at the waist, Looks really good, very flattering, especially on my body type, which doesn't really come in at the waist. This created a little bit of a waist. So the tie comes from it being open on the side. So there is the cutout here, um, and then this wraps around, and then you tie it. Um, but I didn't feel like the cutout on the side was big enough for it to be like a choice. Like, I think it'd be really cute if it was wrapped on the side here, but the cutout was really big. So it was like a very obvious, Oh, there's supposed to be a cutout here because when this was tied, you can maybe see like a sliver. I had to really like open it up I'm like, oh, that's kind of cute. Um, but I feel like most people would maybe think you have a hole in your dress. So I wish it was just more defined that it's supposed to be a cutout here on the side. But I do like the wrap style of this because again, it creates a very nice silhouette on I think every body. So I do like that. I just wish the cutout was a little bit more pronounced just to make it feel justified. Um, I would never butt it all the way up. I had um, the top two undone. I think it looked really good. You can, if you wanna cover up, keep going, but buttons and boobs just don't mix. Um, so did I say the price on this one? I think this is $28. Yes, 28 and I got the size XL. Okay, this next one I'm so happy about. I do have a wedding in like three weeks, so I don't know what I wanna wear yet, but this is definitely a contender, and I feel like this dress can work at so many different occasions, so a really good thing to have. This is from the Sophia Jeans brand by Sophia Vergara. I got this in a 1X, probably my favorite thing of the haul. So it's a crepe fabric, so a little bit of give. Flutter sleeve, universally flattering. A nice surplus wrap style up top. And I also didn't feel like my boobs were gonna like pop out of this at any given moment, but it was deep enough to give me nice cleavage. So again, great. And then a like midi slash T length. So I feel like this hit me at the perfect spot. What I love about this, besides the flutter sleeve, I love a flutter sleeve. There's tiers at the bottom. It's kind of hard to show here, but you'll see it in the try on many tiers. So it's not like here, here, and here. It's like crisscrossing, a little bit of high-low waterfall, but nothing 
crazy drastic like we were doing in 2013 um it just really flows and creates a really nice effect at the bottom of the dress um so again great for spinning great for the dance floor it also has one of these o-ring belts that i find kind of hard to like do but this one comes already like they did the first loop for you kind of a thing so you just got to put it through and pull so really appreciate that because me trying to do like these circle things or like a d-ring kind of belt you don't know what could happen so this already comes kind of like halfway there you put yourself in and then make it to where you want it so really appreciate that because me tying a belt you're like how did i get this far in life and not know how to do this but here we are so a gorgeous gorgeous simple dress and this one was only 26 dollars so I got this in a 1X. Um, really like this. So I'll definitely try the Sofia Vergara brand again. So I just showed like a bunch of really nice black items you can wear to work, you can wear to a wedding. And like that black blazer, like amazing. There's two sides to Shannon Miller. It's the black blazer and the hot pink denim <laughs> jacket. So queerly, I love pink. I love dressing like a 90s TV show character. I love anything loud. So sometimes I feel like I'm being pulled in two different directions fashion wise, like the maxi green aesthetic of like blazers, floral dresses, wide leg jeans. So I really love maxi green for that kind of stuff. But then there's also like the other side of me, which still loves wearing pink and feathers and sequins. So I do think the two can coexist and they're gonna coexist in me. So you just gotta find the right occasion for things. So when I saw this, I was like, I cannot walk away from a hot pink denim jacket. I can't. I'm still very much in the Barbie mindset and I don't think that's ever gonna leave me because I was dressing like this before the Barbie movie. So this is from the brand No Boundaries. What size did I get this one? XXL and it was $19.98. So for less than 20 bucks, like, a fun little jacket, liven up a white t-shirt and jeans, why not? So I would wear this with something a little bit more basic underneath for this to be the star of the show. Um, definitely has a little bit of give in here. It's not like true denim for 20 bucks. It's not gonna be, but like this works. Um, and also for someone like me, like I go to, you know, a few theme parties when I go to camp or a cruise, having this on deck for like the inevitable 80s night, good to have. Um, it is cropped. Not like cropped right under the boob, but cropped it'll hit like the top of your pants. So, you know, I don't love where that would hit me because that's the biggest part of my body besides my boobs. Um, but I had this on and I felt really good and I thought it was cute. So for the purposes of what I'll probably use it for, which is like a theme party or just like a fun night out, like not that I go on many, but like a girl's night and this and like black jeans, boom. Easy, fun, very much a Shannon outfit. Okay, these next two items are a cheap girl win. They came in a set. There were a few other sets with different colorways. So I went for a brown tie dye and then a charcoal gray. But like if you wanted a pink and white, a lilac and light blue, they had different selections to choose from. So here's why it's a cheap girl win. Retails for $35. So you're like, okay, $17 per sweater. I paid $20. So I was like, ooh, even better, $10 per sweatshirt. The price today, $16.11. So that's like $8.04 per sweater. So you really cannot beat that. So are these high fashion, I'm telling you, you have to get one now, it's gonna complete your closet? Absolutely not. But to have easy, light sweaters, just to have to lounge around the house in for $8 each, you really cannot beat that. They aren't um, cozy lined, but I definitely have plenty of sweaters with this on the inside. I'm like, this is perfect for this time of year. I'm already sweating as we can tell. So great for a spring transition. Um, they do have a pretty high split hem on the side. I would say like six inches. It's also a little bit high low, maybe about an inch different from front to back covers your butt so again for me this is great lounging around the house or like you need to run out and you don't want to look like a complete slob this is the move so these are from the brand Terra and sky and i have a few Terra and sky items that i got in the summer and i feel like a lot of those also came in like a two pack and i feel like a two pack is always a good deal i got this in a size 1x which equates to a 16w to an 18w and i feel like this was the perfect relaxed fit again nothing crazy oversized but also nothing like Oh, it's hugging the bottom of my stomach. Like this just draped perfectly on me. And again, a longer sweater, which I really like. So I got it in the taupey brown tie dye. You know, I can't pass up tie dye. So that was the main reason I went for this set. You can't choose which colors you want, but like 
you'll probably pick like, oh, I really like that one and it comes with this, so I'm good with that. Um, a charcoal gray, almost black pretty much, but an easy gray sweatshirt. Who doesn't need that? Okay, next, this is another one of my favorites. I was in my office in person a few times the past year, and I usually opted for a dress, but I'm like, sometimes you just want an easy sweater. Um, so I saw this, and I was like, this is kind of the look I've been trying to create, but this cuts out a lot of the bulk. So easy maroon sweater, and you know I love maroon, but then it has like the two fur. So it looks like you're wearing a shirt underneath. I love the look of this and it doesn't need the collar up top. I've had a few tops like that, but sometimes it's just like too much fabric on your neck. So I really like the look of this and there isn't a shirt on the inside. It's truly just sewn on down here. So it looks like two, but it feels like one. So I really like that. This is also from the brand Terra and Sky. I just looked, it's $8 and 79 cents today. So under 10 bucks to get an easy work top. Um, I got this in a 2X and I will say it is a tad too big. So I wish I got the 1X because as this is, I do feel like it's a little too oversized on me. So I would not wear it to work. Style wise, it works for an office, but like fit wise, this just looked too big on me. So if I had this in a 1X, it would easily be a go-to for work. Um, so I just need to exchange this, but I do love the style. Obviously I love the color and covers your butt. Always a win. Um, so perfect for like an easy casual day at work. I just need to get the correct size for me. Okay, next is a lilac cardigan. I saw someone else on YouTube wear this and she looked really cute in it. So I immediately put it in my cart. I'm not a huge cardigan girl. I don't love, I just don't think they sit well on me unless it's like a big cocoon kind of like Runa kind of style or like a poncho. I just don't think they look good on me, but I did love the lilac and the big um, open chunky knit. This is from the Time and True brand. I got this in an XXL, which equates to a 20. I wanted a big cardigan. Um, this just looks kind of relaxed on me, so not a bad fit. This looks so good on a lot of other people. I just don't like how they look on me. So it's not the cardigan itself, it's a me thing, but I do really love lilac. So especially for this time of year, a nice spring color, a transitional fabric, so you could take it off if it gets too hot, but I feel like this time of year, it's always freezing in the morning and you're sweating by like 2 p.m. Like right now. Um, so a good transitional piece for this time of year, like perfect for Easter. Um, so again, just doesn't work on me, but I think it'll work on a lot of other people. It does button up the front with cute little brown buttons, little tortoiseshell buttons here. So I think this looks cute. You can wear it over a dress. You can wear it with jeans and a white top. Everyone's asking where I get my jeans for the try-ons. They're Old Navy. I will link them down below. Pretty much my go-to pair of jeans right now. And I like how I say everyone is asking. It was three people, but for me, that's a lot. Um, so yeah, really like this, but cardigans are just not for me, but I do think they're for a lot of people. So why not show you guys? Also, it comes in a bunch of other colors, but I really, really love the lilac. Okay, next I have two pairs of shoes and I am so jazzed about these. This summer, I got a pair um, of Love and Sports slip-on shoes, wore them all the time. You can see they're pretty dirty. They get a ton of use. I love a slip-on and anytime I have to wear a shoe with a tie now, I'm like, oh man. So love a slip-on. Um, so I love those so much that in the fall, I then got like a maroon purple pair. These are probably my most worn shoe. Um, and again, I wear these every day, barely any wear and tear. I've had shoes in the past where it's like bald at the bottom because I wear them so much. So these are getting a lot of love and they're withstanding all that I do. So I have these two pairs and then like in my head, I have a scarcity mindset. I'm like, what if they sell out and never restock? Cause Torrid had slip on shoes that I bought like five pairs of over the past couple years and then they stopped restocking them. So like you better hold on to what you have because they're not bringing them back. They, I hope they do, but like scarcity mindset. <laughs> um, so in my head, I'm like, I love these so much literally wear them every day. Um, let's see what other colors Walmart has. And they have a bunch. I wish they had a basic black on black. They don't yet, but I hope one day they do. So I got a black and tan. So as basic as we're gonna get color wise. So I really like that. Nice to have somewhat of a neutral. And then I also got a forest green just cause I'm really loving this color lately. And I think having a solid is also very nice. So I 
stocked up on these because who knows if they sell out if they're ever gonna bring them back so this is me being like a doomsday prepper um but these usually go for about $32 the other pairs I got for around 22 and I was like wow I'm getting a deal these today are $14 and change but like under $15 so as you can see, I wear them a lot. These withstand two hour long hot girl walks. These have endured Disney. Like you can last all day in these and for 15 bucks, or even if you had to pay the full price, $32, you cannot beat that. And like I said, I love a slip on. I, when I was younger and I would see old people trying on Velcro shoes, I'd be like, oh, that's so sad. But now I feel like this is the equivalent of a Velcro shoe and I'm not that old. <laughs> So have I turned into that sad person? Yes, but I love it. I do have to say, normally I'm a size 10 in shoes. I got these in a size nine and I feel like that is my size to go. So um, look at their sizing chart or if you feel like, you know, if you're getting a size nine at Torrid, you should equate to a size nine here. Or maybe I've been a nine this whole time, who knows? Okay friends, that is everything from Walmart. My battery is flashing at me, so everything will be linked down below. I know I've been MIA for like three weeks, but like I've been ordering stuff. So this week you'll probably get like three videos. Um, again, all my sizes, all my links, all these links, everything will be down there. I'm very happy I tried a bunch of different brands because now I like really like Sofia Vergara. I have all the shoes I love, so Try some different things at Walmart. There is a lot to choose from, so it's kind of hard, but like, hope I can set you in like a direction and then you can go from there. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon. Bye.